Hello, welcome or welcome back to the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel. My name is Angela and all the places you can find me should be linked in the description box below this video. Here on the channel you'll find me chatting about my adventures in knitting, spinning, crochet and weaving, all of the fibre related things. Welcome to day four of our 12 cast ons adventures, 12 cast ons 2024. If this happens to be the first video that you're clicking on here on the Yarn and Yarns YouTube channel, you are most welcome. We always love to welcome new community members here. Each year I cast on 12 new projects to set myself up for my year or my years worth of making. I like to have lots of projects on the needles and for the last few years I have invited the Yarn and Yarns YouTube community to cast on with me should you choose to do so. Our knit along started on the 24th of December and it goes right through till the end of January and you are most welcome to cast on anything from one up to 12 projects. You don't have to cast on the full 12, I know that would be not manageable for everyone. Yeah as many projects as you'd like to start along with me you'll be most welcome to join our cast on party. So yeah this is cast on number four for me. It is Sunday the 31st of December as I'm recording this so the final day of 2023. It's a very changeable day here in South Wales, one minute sunshine, one minute rain <laughs> so it feels like a good day to get some new knitting on the needles. Well let's face it every day is a good day to get new projects on the needles isn't it? <laughs> Without further ado, I'm going to share with you the project that I'm going to be casting on today. I'm going to be casting on a pair of fingerless gloves today. This pattern was kindly gifted to me by one of our community members, Tracy, and I have been wanting to cast this on since I was gifted the pattern because last year, as part of our 12 cast-ons, I knit another pair of fingerless mitts and I have been wearing those non-stop, so it'll be quite nice to have a couple of pairs to change up so I can maybe have one in the wash and my fingers can still stay nice and warm. <laughs> um, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce this pattern. Shionak mitts, and I'll put the name of the pattern on the screen. Um, they're a lovely pair of colourwork fingerless mitts and it has a beautiful design of a fox on the back of the hand. Aren't they lovely? Um, you might have seen these mittens, there's lots of projects on Ravelry and they're designed by Nina of, is it the Knitter's Tale podcast? I can't remember what her YouTube channel is called now. If I have my wits about me when I come to editing. I'll put a link to her channel um, on the screen or below the video somewhere. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to casting these on. I love a little bit of colour work and any excuse to get a new colour work project on the needles is good for me. I am going to be using some yarn from my stash for these and the first one is a beautiful skein that's a precious skein in my stash that was a another gift from uh, my dear friend Mandy and I have been holding this skein in my stash for a good couple of years now, maybe longer. <laughs> but it's Harvest Hues from John Arben, it's the four ply version. I've seen this for sale on their website recently so I'm not sure whether they're redoing it, whether they're discontinuing the four ply, I don't, I don't know, I don't, <laughs> I've had barely enough time to keep up with what's going on in my own life let alone <laughs> what's happening in the wider yarn world so yeah if you fancy some of this I believe it's on sale at the moment on the John Arben website it's a combination of 65% Falkland Merino and 35% Zwart Balls and this is the Bracken colorway yeah Bracken in this beautiful rusty orangey colour which is one of my favourite shades and I thought it'd be perfect for these mitts. I've been holding on to this because I wasn't quite sure what to do with it and yeah because it's a precious gift it's one of those that I wanted to find the perfect project for the yarn and although my mitts aren't going to use up all of this I just think it's the perfect colour and it just seems it just feels right so we're going to go with the Harvest Hues. And to pair with that, I am going to be using some Cartrev yarn. So Cartrev is a fabulous Welsh, Welsh produced yarn, um, entirely sourced, spun and dyed here in Wales by my lovely friends Zoe and Jenny, the brains behind Cartrev yarns. And I have the natural colourway, Natiriol is the Welsh name, although I'm probably pronouncing that wrong. I should know these things, shouldn't I? I'm sure someone will correct me. <laughs> And I have a skein of this in my stash. Actually, it's a part of my, it's part of a sweater project. 
what is the name of that sweater? It's gonna bug me now. I cast it on for last year's cast-ons, did the yoke, and then the yoke turned out to be way too big. So I'm trying to rework it, except I haven't had a chance to go back and probably sort that out yet. Is it the Midsummer? Can't remember. It's a Jen Steingast pattern. I will put the name of it on the screen. I'm waffling, it's kind of irrelevant, isn't it? But anyway, I had a skein of the natural colour to go into the yoke design, and I don't need the full skein. So I'm hoping that this should be enough to get through uh, the mitten pattern. And if not, I can order another skein of Kartrev. Any excuse to buy Kartrev yarn is a good excuse, right? <laughs> so I'm going to be pairing these two together for my Shonak mitts. Can't wait to see these come to fruition. I am going to head out for a walk, <laughs> even though I might get wet, we shall see. But you know me, I love to be outdoors and I'm not the most fit and active person. I do try and go out every day, but I just appreciate my body being able to do these things and I don't take that for granted. So any excuse that I can to keep myself moving and keep the keep the old body going, then I will take that. So yeah, I think I'll go for a walk to the lake today rather than my usual loop around to the seafront. Be nice to do something a little bit different. So yeah, I'm gonna wind this up, go out for a walk and then cast on later on today. So it's time to share with you my progress on my day four project. <laughs> my brain's a little bit all over the place. I It's been a few days actually for me since I finished the fourth project and I've cast on a fifth and I'm about to cast on the sixth. <laughs> I just haven't had time to uh, record because I've been back to work this week but hey we're getting it done now but before I <laughs> share with you my progress I'm leaping all, all over the place because I've got like four different video snippets to record <laughs> so my brain is not <sighs> let's take a breath <laughs> my brain is not concentrating anyway before I share with you the progress on my fingerless mitts that I made on day four I have got a whole list of projects. Oh no, that's the wrong list, hang on. <laughs> that shows where I'm at. This is the list of projects that I have to share with you since the last video went up. And there's quite a lot. So let's get on with it. Let's get cracking. There are a couple of names here, which I want to apologize on the outset if I've got these wrong because my YouTube app has been a little bit weird and there's a couple of people who've commented that don't seem to have a proper username so whether that's because the people are, co are commenting anonymously I don't know and also there are some folks who I'll be mentioning by their online persona their online name or handle because I don't know or I can't remember apologies um, what their actual names are 
<laughs> hopefully that all made sense anyway since the last video sarah has cast on a moonlight cardigan lottie has started a crochet t-shirt and also a crochet table runner angela has started a mitered square blanket unknown username sorry um has also started a mitered square blanket and some waffle socks so yeah apologies to whoever you are i don't know your name jen and nancy have not cast on anything but they told me that they're working on their whips their works in progress so I'm happy to have you cheering us along jen and nancy fire shine and shadow has started a variation of the fidget socks jacaranda street lace shawl and a pair of of socks which will be um, knee-high socks with some mock cable from some unique sock yarn which is a lovely sort of self-striping sock yarn and then having said that not all of their colorways are self-striping but most of them are Angela has just had news of a new grandbaby on the way so has been knitting baby hats so congratulations to Angela and to your family for the wonderful news and Angela's also started a muscle bra hat Alexandra has given in to the cast on temptation <laughs> and has started a wildwood shawl so welcome to the par cast on party alexandra arwen has recently got a new rigid heddle loom and has been weaving up a scarf and is also making a secret gift for one of her daughters scarlet has started some raven light mitts and has been blending up some fiber which will then be spun into some yarn which will then be woven into some fabric to make some project bags so that is such an awesome project to start mary has also started a spinning project um so mary's been spinning up some merino to match with some lovely john arben fiber that she already has in her stash which she spun from the wonderfully named colorway pig snout <laughs> and eventually those two yarns will be turned into a pressed flowers sweater elaine is starting her first color work project and she's going to be knitting a little color work gnome isa has started a triangle brioche cowl jenny has started five cast-ons altogether and the most recent is the white russian sweater which is a pattern by thea coleman wool around the world has started a sun kissed by sari norland and is actually away on a trip to vietnam which sounds amazing and is hoping to um, be wearing the sun kissed <laughs> in vietnam nina has started a rain shawl matilda lady sweater and a doodle cow and has plans for more cast-ons louise has started some socks some slipper socks a diaphanous raglan and a mecca shawl pip has started some coffee socks ruth has started six projects so far and her most recent cast-on is the portrait mitts um, Louise has started a shift cow and a ripple blanket, a crochet pattern by Attic24. Victoria has started a puzzle jacket. Kaya has started a temperature blanket. There's lots of blankets on this list. So as well as the temperature blanket, Kaya has also started um, some Ode to Barbara socks and a glittering snowscape shawl. Alison has started a Vaux vest, a Perrick vest, an Ollie yoke and the world's simplest mittens. Tori has started a scra bucket. Um, I knit one of those for my 12 cast-ons last year. Tori's making hers from some hand spun. I'd like to do that one day, but I don't think it's going to make it on the list for this year's 12 cast-ons. Um, Tori has also started a susu and is spinning for some socks, has cast on an arboreal and also a dern sweater. The dern sweater, I'm going to get a little bit distracted here, is my favourite sweater. It was like a rowan sweater pattern it's a very plain sweater you might have seen me wear it it's an orange sweater tweedy yarn rowan valley tweed and i do have um a sweater quantity in my stash to cast on another one but again but i don't i don't think i'm going to get to another den this 12 cast ons we shall see maybe that will tempt me I'm trying to stick to my list but it's just so hard there's so many lovely projects that i'd love to cast on anyway i'm getting wildly distracted uh tracy has cast on a backpack which she thinks will be modified into a drawstring tote um, which sounds like a really fun project uh, susan so far has started some vanilla socks and plain socks and a garter marla cardigan and finally um Anne has started a playdate cardigan and a winter crown. Hopefully that has captured everyone that has commented since the last time I posted. Please do keep letting me know in the comments below what you've cast on or what you're working on and I'll try and give as many people a shout out as possible. I am so far behind in replying to comments so I do apologise for that but I will get caught up and I am trying to capture everyone for the shout outs in my little lists each video but if I do miss anyone out there's lots of cast ons going on then please do accept my apology it's just a lot for me to <laughs> keep on top of at the moment and I am trying my best not to miss anyone but 
yeah, if, if I haven't shouted you out, please forgive me, I'm not intentionally ignoring you. I'm just doing my best to keep on top of things as, um, as much as I can. Let's get on to share with you my progress on my um, show night commits. So I'm keeping this project in a lovely project bag from Emma of Eldenwood Crafts with some beautiful robins on. Here is my progress. I could have made more progress if I'm being entirely honest because this was such an addictive little knit but I didn't want to race through it either so I know that it could be some time before I revisit this project and part of me wanted to make as much progress as possible um, but also I was just really enjoying working um, the colour work pattern and also working with this yarn combination. I really love how these yarns are working together. My first mitt and I've min and I've finished the sort of cuff colour work pattern and I'm literally, I stopped at the point where the sort of first row of the fox's head will be coming out in the sort of pattern as I work up the, the next few rows but I decided that would be a good place to pause. The yarn combination, as I said, I'm just really loving. The Kartra yarn is slightly thicker than the John Arben yarn um, but I don't think um, it's really detrimental the colour work is showing up just fine maybe not quite as distinct as it might otherwise be if the yarns were exactly the same thickness they're very similar uh, but the cut is slightly thicker but what I do like is they're both of these yarns have got like a really nice halo to them so they've got an extra sort of fluffy squish factor to them so yeah I'm just really yeah can you tell I'm just really loving this project and how many times can I say I'm loving this project <laughs> But I am, it's the truth, what can I say? Day four is over and done with and oh, I'm very sad to have put this project away. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I'll probably say at the end of each of these videos the joy and the pain of the cast-ons is I get to start lots of new things but then I put them away and I'm not sure when they will come back out again. But it's better to be excited for all of the projects and works in progress I've got than than not isn't it so yeah time for me to say goodbye for this video i will be back again in a few days time with day five of our cast-ons um in the meantime as i mentioned please keep letting me know what you're casting on i can't wait to hear what you've been up to um so i hope you will join me for the next cast on video but until we do get to spend time together again i hope you get to do some of the things that you enjoy great big willy hugs to you all bye for now bye <laughs>